Hi my beautiful Aquarius and welcome to my channel. This is going to be your June 25th until the 30th, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So for June this will be the last week for the, or the last, yeah, the last week uh, to enter the giveaway. So if you're interested, I'll be choosing two winners who will each win a free personal reading from me. And the options to enter the giveaway are to either subscribe to this channel or in the description box below. Follow me on my Instagram or my Facebook. And this will also be the last week for the $10 question. So for those of you who haven't got yours yet, this is the last week. And everything else you need to know about my personal readings will all be in the description box below. All right, so I'm going to start off with your tarot. I'm using the Sexual Magic Tarot. And then I will finish off with uh, some Romance Angels and Oracle Cards. Hey, my beautiful Aquarius, what can we get? Some of you guys are in a situation where you've been working so hard. It's like your relationship just feels like you're putting in a lot of effort and it just doesn't seem like it's paying off. It just feels like, you know, that you're putting in so much work and your partner just isn't reciprocating all the energy that you're putting into this relationship. So it's like there's a delay um, in this relationship. I see that you're going to be taking time this week to just kind of go within and to really just figure out if this is actually the person that you want to be with. You're wondering, you know, if there is someone better out there for you because it's like, You've been trying and trying and trying and it's just it's not it doesn't seem like it's going anywhere or going where you want it to go so it's like now you're rethinking others of you could be trying to you know you you're you could be very interested in someone and it's like they're not reciprocating the exact way that you feel for them you just feel like they are you know saying the least but you're saying the most it's like you always have to plan things you always have to message them first and it's like you just feel like you're putting in so much work and they're just not matching it or they just seem very disinterested. You cannot really tell this person's true feelings. I feel like, you know, because you're going to be taking some time away, I do see that you are going to realize that there is someone else out there for you and, um, you know, you are going to have a new love because I definitely see new love here coming in for you. For some of you though, this could mean that, you know, after you do take some time away, this person will realize that they are interested in you. And, um, that will, you know, make them, you know, that realization that they're going to have is going to make them realize how much they do care about you. And I see that they're going to start falling in love with you. So whether this is somebody that is going to realize that because you've taken some time apart and you haven't been putting in as much attention as you, it's like you're giving them what they give you now. And that's really helping them to realize some things. Or, you know, if this isn't your case, this is definitely, you know, a new relationship coming into your life because there is that new, you know, that feeling of new love or falling in love all over again here. After the Ace of Cups, we do have the lovers, right? So it's like, for some of you, it's like you may have to make a choice between this person that you really like, but they're not giving you the attention that you need or they're not treating you the way that you feel like you need to be treated. And this new love that seems to treat you exactly the way that you need to be treated. But, you know, this is something very new, very fresh. So it's like you're really having to make a choice between two people that you do have deep feelings for. Some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Gemini. So there's definitely a new opportunity coming um, coming between the two of you guys. Uh, for a lot of you, this is a new person though, because we do have lots of aces here. This isn't a brand new beginning. It could be uh, dealing with an Aquarius, or this could be you. You know, we have the star card here, right? So there's something that you've been wanting, something that you've been wishing for, and it's finally going to come to light. And that could be this big choice. It's because this person is finally reciprocating the way that you feel, you know, the things that you're saying to them. And it's like they're finally being that dream person that you always wanted them to be. But it's like, you know, you're also thinking about the fact that it took them this long, you know, or for some of you, this person could know that there's somebody new interested in you. 
And it's like, you're wondering, like, if, did somebody new have to come into my life for you to realize, like, why didn't you realize all along? You know, the right person would have known all along. So it's like, you're really trying to decide, but there is, you know, your dream, it is coming true. And you're just really gonna have to think, is it this new person? Or is it, you know, this person that is, um, that you're currently dealing with? Or is it the person that, you know, was from your past? Whatever it is that you want, though, it does look like that's what's going to happen. I do see a lot of passion happening between the two of you guys, a lot of intimacy. Um, you know, very, very passionate energy, energy of, you know, I really feel like you are going to be, this new person is going to be somebody that's very spontaneous, somebody that's going to, you know, just randomly pick you up to take you out on a date or just randomly call you. Like, they're going to be somebody that is very spontaneous and I feel like you're really going to like that. I feel like there's going to be a lot of adventures between the two of you guys. And if you're somebody that's not so adventurous, I feel like you're going to enjoy doing adventurous things with this person. So I see here that, you know, you're going to be feeling really good within who you are. I feel like this new person is going to make you feel really good, really balanced. And I feel like it has a lot to do with the fact that you're not going to be questioning their feelings, questioning what their motives are. It's like you're, this person's going to be very upfront with you, very honest. And even if they're not so expressive, I really feel like just, you know, through their eyes, it has something to do with their eyes. Like you're really going to be able to tell how they care about you through their eyes, through the way that they look at you. And um, you're going to be feeling very emotional, content, you know, very content with who you are. I feel like you're really going to be feeling like, you know, you're going to be in that energy where you don't really need anybody to completely, to completely you. You're going to feel very complete on your own. So, you know, this person is just going to be an add on for you. I do see that you're feeling very emotionally content, emotionally happy. And, you know, the nine of cups is also another wish come true. So there's definitely something that you've been wishing, something that you've been wanting that is going to come true for you. And I do see that it could be, you know, the love, the the kind of love that you want, right? This guy is very, very passionate. Could be older than you, but um, just how honest you are and how vulnerable this person can be around you. I feel like there's going to be an energy where you guys are very inseparable physically. And that doesn't just mean sexually. It just means like this is going to be somebody that likes to hold you. They like to have you in their arms. They like to cuddle you. They're very affectionate in a physical way. And I really feel like you're really going to like that because that may be something that, you know, maybe you're the more affectionate one a lot of the time. But with this person, you really like that there's a sense of them wanting to hold on to you. They're realizing, you know, they see who you really are. And I feel like you really like that. And that's helping you to see who you really are, which is why you're feeling very emotional, um, emotionally content. It's like you're feeling all those good things about you. You're actually realizing them for yourself. This person is helping you to realize those things. So this is actually a really good person that is coming into your life. But I'm going to, you'll know in your heart if this, if this is a choice for you to choose. Go with the one that, you know, feels like home when you hold them. Even if it's a new person, right? It's like this is somebody that you, you just feel so calm when you're around them. And, and when you touch them, they just feel so warm all the time. So the, the um, oracles that we have are, conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse and what do you need to release so there's definitely you know a need to release something and then you've been knowing that you've known this for a very long time so you're finally about to make a conclusion about what you need to release this is like you making the choice as to who you're gonna go towards for some of you this is you know choosing yourself or choosing you know somebody in your life Choosing to just kind of focus on yourself or choosing um, somebody, a, par some par um, a partner, I mean, sorry. All right, Aquarius.
So we have flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others and keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. So this new person could be somebody that is, you know, completely unlike anybody else that you've dated. And, you know, you're really going to have to take a chance on this person, especially if they make you feel great. You know, a lot of the times the one that we end up marrying is definitely not somebody that we were initially attracted to. Or, you know, they're, they're usually somebody that is completely opposite of all the people that we've dated in our lives. And we still, we fall madly, you know, head over heels for this person. And I feel like, you know, that's, you know, the situation with you. So just be open to something new because I feel like this person is going to be, you know, they could in fact be your opposite. They could be, you know, your opposite sign or they could just be very opposite from you in terms of what you like to do. But still, you both have a lot of fun doing, you know, the things that, you know, if they take you out doing something that they like to do, you'll have fun when if you've done that in the past, you normally have an and vice versa for them as well. But yeah, so that is what I have for you guys. I hope you didn't you enjoyed this reading. And if you did and you would like a personal reading, all my information is down below. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you guys next week. Bye my loves.